All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Batman Arkham City, the second game in the Batman Arkham Trilogy from Rocksteady. In the first episode, we had, uh, got arrested as Bruce Wayne and became Batman inside the city. Then we saved uh, Catwoman from both Two-Face and an assassination attempt from Joker. So now what we're, what we're doing is we're going to go into detective mode and we're going to try and figure out where Joker took the shot from that was going to uh, going to possibly kill Catwoman. And we're gonna see if we can trace it and find out what's going on because apparently Joker and Hugo Strange have been working together on this Protocol 10 thing. So let's see if we can uh, figure this out, all right? Cut me down, fight us like a man. No, I, I don't think so. If I cut you down, you're gonna fall into that acid, dude. Oh, hey. Bullet hit the floor here. Now, where did it enter the room? The trajectory the bullet traveled will lead me to the shooter. So we have to follow that trajectory line. Uh, something again tells me going out the front door is probably not a wise thing to do, so uh... Protocol 10 will commence in 10 hours. That's slightly ominous. Still in there? I think so. I can hear someone in there. Keep that door shut, man! I don't want to go head to head with Batman! You didn't say it was Batman. Why the hell are we still here? We should run or something. You think? Don't be stupid. If you keep that door closed, he can't get out and we are safe. Really? What's stopping him going out the back? There's a back? Yeah. Two-Face showed me. There's a basement. It's full of cells. Uh, there's some guy down there. And you didn't think to mention it till now? He's got a point. You'd think they would have mentioned that sooner. Because otherwise, I'm just going to do something like this. Batman! It's Batman! So yes, the combat is much more uh, free flow than it was in Arkham Asylum, but it's also much more brutal. Like they take down your health very, very quickly. So where's this trajectory line? There it is. But before I do that, they did make a point of calling out the back of the courthouse. So let's see what's over there. I think they heard us. Good. I can't believe we're still out here at night. Look, I told you I was sorry. I lost track. Let's hope it doesn't get us killed. We just need to be careful. We move when they fight. They'll be too busy killing each other to notice us heading back to the camp. 
I don't understand why they even want to fight for this place. Two-Face ends up owning that bit of street. So what? He's still stuck in here. Jeez, jeez. Let's see what these political prisoners have to say. You're the last person I expected to see in here. What did you do? You don't want to know. Who are you? Who was I, you mean? In here, you're nothing. Out there, I worked at the company handling security for this place. Yeah, me too. Don't tell me. You were sent here by Strange. Yeah, that evil son of a bitch. What the hell did I do wrong? You obviously know something you shouldn't. Try to figure out what that is and stay out of sight. Yeah, Tiger... Tiger kind of not a great company. No, well, here's the back of the uh, courthouse. That looks safe. April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except for February alone, to which we, 28, assign. Till leap year gives us 29. So, you may or may not have figured out that this here is Calendar Man, who is apparently one of uh, Batman's classic villains, but I, I will freely admit, I don't know much about him. The dogs will sit with their master on that hot August night, just waiting to sink their teeth into the bones lying bloody on the floor. Now, Calendar Man is a bit of an interesting addition to this, uh, to this game, because you can talk to him at any point of the year, and he will say something relevant to what time of year it is in the real world. Not the game world. Thirty days hath September, Because in the game world, April, this is June, obviously winter. November, all the uh, I believe Arkham month, Asylum takes place in fall. For February, Arkham alone, City takes place in winter. And I believe shine. the final game of the trilogy, Arkham Knight, takes place in but spring. But here, 29. Um, Calendar Man will talk to you. Like, if you talk to him beginning of July-ish, he'll mention something about Independence Day. If you talk to him in, de in late in December, it'll be something about Christmas. He will say something about the time of year it is in the real world, which is really kind of cool, actually. There's another Riddler trophy. Uh, I don't see how you're supposed to get to it. There's Two-Face. <laughs> oh. Hey, yellow line on the floor, pointing at that security box. Uh, let's see, cryptographic sequencer is over here now. Can I do anything with it? Nope. Interesting. Well, I think that's all we can do here. Oh! Hello. Let's use the back claw to bring that uh, trophy down. Because that's something that they added to this game. You can use the back claw to grab things. And that actually got me a level. So, uh, I'm going to take care of that. I'll see you on the flip side. So, going up. I love how easy that makes things. There's one other really cool addition to the way this game plays compared to um, Arkham Asylum. And that is that uh, you can actually uh, shoot your grapple and ascend while gliding. You couldn't do that in Arkham Asylum and it frustrated me. Because sometimes I'd want to like 
glide from like a high point to another high point. But of course, because you're gliding, you fall. So I'd want to like shoot the grapple in midair, but I ha I couldn't. I'd have to just like stop, land, and then grapple. Now, since I'm heading over to this uh, this tower here, there's some gargoyles there. Watch this. This is fun. So I glide over this building. Cold. Of course I'm cold. It's like ten below out here. And Harley left us outside to freeze to death. Crazy bitch. Bet she's nice and warm in there. Take it easy, man. I'm just asking. Who was that lady? The one who got dragged off? No idea. Just one of the losers from the church. Bunch of do-gooders, if you ask me. Hope the Joker hurts her bad. Odds are he will. He ain't been his usual happy self for a while now. Do you think the rumors are true? What? That Harley used to be a dude? Nah, the ones about the Joker dying. No idea, man, but... He didn't look too good last time I saw him. When was that? I ain't seen him for months. Me neither. The way I see it, if Big J dies, this place becomes an all-out war zone. If that happens, I'm joining up with Penguin. So Rocksteady's obviously um, laying the groundwork here. What's that? Rumors about Joker not looking so good and not feeling well and it possibly being catastrophic if something happens to him? That can't possibly be foreshadowing. But you saw what I mean about being able to like glide and grapple. It's fun. Let's take these three goons out and then head into the church. I'm at the church. It looks like Harley Quinn is inside. That dreadful woman is no doubt setting a trap for you. Don't worry, Alfred. Quinn never was too smart. I'll be okay. So one of the things I love about the combat system, as I've said many times before, is the free-flowing nature of it. If you get like a group of three enemies, and you can you can basically just kind of move from one to the next 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 to the next, to the next snow. and basically just Damn, have a continuous already. chain of combat, keeping them all unconscious. Let's see what's in the church. Well, this is interesting. There's uh, an industrial motor above the door. Not sure what that does. And... I see some people back there. This should be interesting. Uh, they did specifically mention that Harley Quinn was inside the uh, the church. So, one thing I'm going to mention before going through the door here. Uh, they actually changed voice actresses for Harley Quinn between Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe they just couldn't get the voice actress who played Harley Quinn in, the, in Arkham Asylum back. Maybe they you know, preferred the new voice actress, but I, I can't remember the name of the original voice actress, but the new voice actress for Harley Quinn in this game is Tara Strong, who is one of my favorite voice actresses. She does a lot of voice acting work. You see, you hear her voice in many cartoons and video games, and it, she's a very, very busy and successful voice actress. Uh, in part because she's pretty good at it. So, let's go see what Harley's up to, alright? Let the lady go, bat freak, or these people all get a bullet in their heads. I think you should do what he says. It would be a shame to get blood all over my nice new outfit. What do you think, Bat Brain? Like it? What am I saying? Of course you do! Who wouldn't? So, anyway.
Anyway, here's the deal. Mr. J is really not up to a visit right now. He's not feeling himself. Well, actually, he was earlier, but that's not what I meant. He's not doing so good, and that idiot doctor I sent from here didn't help! I've seen more smarts from these bozos! I've gotta run, boys! If he tries anything funny, kill him! Attacking armed thugs head-on is suicide. I need to disappear. Pick them off silently, one by one. Don't you move, Batman. Just stay there and this will all end okay. What do you mean, end okay? She left us alone with Batman. Keep it together, he's ours. What's he gonna do? Good point. I mean, it's not like he has a reputation for breaking free of traps and smashing people's faces. Oh no, that's right. That's exactly what he does. I said stay calm. I got a gun pointing at his damn head. What's he gonna do? Oh, I don't know. Throw a smoke bomb, break your face, and string me up from the ceiling? How's he gonna do that? He can't do that, can he? I thought you said we were in control. I did. I, I mean, we are. Look, there's four of us, just one of him. I saw him take out ten people back at the asylum. Would you just shut the hell up? Okay, new plan. We kill him now. What? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. One, two... Are you sure? Won't Harley be pissed? Why should she care? One, two... Did we shoot on three? Yes, on three! Like one, two, three, shoot! Okay, okay, let's just get it done. This is freaking me out. Good. Now, one. Two, three, kill him! Where's he gone? He's vanished! He disappeared! They don't know where I am. Good. So Let's keep it He's that way. Time to survey the room. Plan out my tactics. I love that conversation. You can drop the smoke pellet and grapple up some gargoyle at any time. But I love just letting that conversation happen. It is awesome. I won't stop him! Man, I'm gonna die in here. Four thugs, all armed, two hostages. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> ah, only Batman would say this is gonna be easy. Now that's interesting. There's uh, some kind of breakable wall there. Where is he? Where is he? I can't see him. He could come from anywhere. Stay calm. That idiot thinks he's safe in the confessional. He's just made it easier for me to get in behind him. <laughs> I love the commentary they have here. So, let's get behind the, the confessional here. And... Take out this thug. You're safe. Stay quiet. Shut the hell up. I'll kill you myself. Uh, so that's awesome. Hello? What's happening? So it's that's slightly What's unsettling. See him? Where is he? There he is. I can't see him. He could come from anywhere. He's got a hostage. I can glide to the scaffolding above him without being seen and take him down from there. This has a hole where her head used to be. Yeah, leave us alone. You're still there? Answer me! You'll be okay. Wait here and don't make a noise. So obviously they're kind of showing you some of the, uh, some of the new techniques you have available. Hello? What's happening? Answer me, man! What's going on? Can you see him? Where is he? I don't know where he is. I can't see him. He could come from anywhere. Stay calm. Back. Can you hear me? Get out of here. Leave now, or the bitch has a hole where her head used to be. Are you still there? Answer me.
The room is secure. You're safe now. Thank God. Yo, Batman! Thanks for the help! See what these uh we're in control here, not these animals. These people have to say. I want this place locked down tight. All medical staff checks. Is she going to be all right? I think so. She got hit in the head pretty hard when Harley Quinn came in. We should get a squad together. Hit back. There's too many of them, officer. Stay here with the wounded. Okay, does everyone understand? Look after the wounded, keep the bad guy. Yeah, probably a good idea to keep it simple. This place is getting as bad as old Arkham. Yeah, let's just say anything with the Arkham name in the Batman universe doesn't work well. What the hell made that woman come in here and do all this? Why kill us? Quinn's only priority is to protect Joker. She's dangerous. So I see. Well, thanks, Batman. It's funny. I figured people would be grateful to have us here. I guess I was wrong. The gunshot came from the bell tower. I need to find a way up there. The gunshot came from the bell tower. I need to find a way up there. Yeah, I get it, Batman. But before we do that, let's talk to our good old friend, Aaron Cash. Thank God you got here, Batman. After what happened at the asylum, I thought you'd settle for a quiet desk job. Yeah, right. When Shark closed down the asylum, it turned out there wasn't much work for an ex-security guard who failed to stop a mass breakout. This is the only work I can get. What happened back there wasn't your fault, Cash. What was Harley Quinn doing here? That crazy bitch busted in a couple of hours ago with the rest of these idiots. Took something up the tower, then blew up the staircase. Thanks. I'll check it out. Wait. I mean... Sorry, Batman, I forgot. A couple of them grabbed one of the docks. Quinn said something about needing her to fix up the Joker. If she's alive, I'll find her. You concentrate on securing this church. It should keep you all safe. Will do. Hope you find the doc. Her name's Stacy Baker. She's one of the good ones. Well, that's slightly terrifying. I wonder if the way we're going to get to the bell tower is uh, past this door with a big sign that says bell tower. The gunshot came from the bell tower. I need to find a way up there. Like I said, maybe it's through this passage labeled bell tower. I see some bells at the bottom of a bell tower, which is not usually where the bells are. Oh, hello. Another Riddler trophy. Oh, yeah. Cash mentioned that she blew up the stairs. As if Batman needs stairs. <laughs> like, there's the top. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see if Joker's still there. I doubt it. That looks like explosives to me. Does that look like explosives to anyone else? There's the gun. It looks like it's being controlled remotely by Joker. That's... That's a hell of a lot of explosives. And two Joker TV mannequins. Alright. I don't think this is going to end well. Well, look who it is. I haven't seen you for... How long has it been? 
Let's see. There was an asylum, some monsters, and... Oh, that's right. You left me to die. Now, you probably don't remember it that way, but who cares? You just need to worry about the bombs. Hurry up now. Clock's ticking. Alfred, I've got a lock on the signal used to remotely control the sniper rifle. Joker's behind this. Was there ever any doubt? The radio signal should lead me right to him. Good luck, sir. So, I figure this is probably a good time to point out that, um... As I mentioned in my Batman Arkham Asylum uh, playthrough, Batman Arkham Asylum was going to be Mark Hamill's final performance as the Joker. He was going to. He's one of the best Joker voice actors ever, but he's been doing it a lot, and he kind of wanted to retire from the character. And Arkham Asylum was going to be the end of it, and then, then he found out about who was writing Batman Arkham City, and when he found out that that was like who the writer of Batman Arkham City was. He decided to reprise the role, or reprise the role for this this one game, and that writer, by the way, is um, a apparently a veteran uh, Batman writer by the name of Paul Dini. Paul Dini uh, is apparently a well-known, well-respected Batman writer. And that, the fact that he was involved convinced Mark Hamill to come back. And, oh man, Joker... <laughs> Joker is back in all of his glory. So, having said that, we're going to follow the radio signal to see if we can find where Joker is and where he remotely controlled the gun from. Next episode. So this is probably a really good point to end the episode. Like I said, this game moves very fluidly from one event to the next. We have to take moments like this as a moment to, to break. So, I hope you join me next time. See you then.